As we continue on with Move the Sticks, presented by Castro Edge, he scored an incredible 75 total touchdowns during his 10-year career in the National Football League. Also caught 554 balls, over 14,000 total yards. I could go on and on with all the numbers that Matt Forte put up during his decade-long career in the National Football League. We could not be any more excited to have him join us today on the show. Matt, we appreciate you taking some time for us today, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. I appreciate you guys having me on. Well, we're excited to have you, man. We're, we've got something we're going to do today. We're going to uh, trot this thing out here because we're always doing comparisons in the scouting game. You're always comparing players, which is going to lead us to our pro on prospect feature today. And we're going to be taking a look at one of the top running backs in this year's draft class. That's Najee Harris. You see the same number there with Matt Forte, the double deuce, uh, big physical backs, but also very athletic. And, and Matt, we want to kind of take you through some of the things that you did well, uh, talk about you know what it was that made you excel in those areas, and then give you a little bit of tape here on Najee to see what you think. Uh, I, I want to start with you catching the football. Your value in the passing game is something that everybody around the league appreciated. I mentioned the numbers, 554 catches, 4,672 yards. Um, what was it that made you so effective as a receiver in this league? I would say um, just that I wanted to be an all well-rounded running back, you know, every down back. Didn't want to have to come off the field on third down. And uh, I know how important protecting the quarterback is. So being able to pick up blitzes and read defenses is important. And um, that was one of the main things that uh, kind of sparked me towards uh, being an every down back. And then also that um, you can get mismatches on, on guys like linebackers and safeties if you know how to run routes like the receivers run and if you have good hands. And so... It's really a lot of times like a screen play or a swing pass. Those are extended handoffs, but if you can extend extend that beyond the uh, those those short intermediate passes and go downfield or run slants and different things like that, uh, it adds another dimension to your offense. You know, it's funny, Matt, because you talk about adding another dimension to the offense as a pass catcher. When we look at Najee Harris, he certainly has big time ability. But what do you see when you evaluate him and see him on tape? When I see him on tape, I see a big back who um, does have soft hands and can catch the ball. I haven't seen a lot of down the field catches, but that's not to say that he doesn't have the ability to do that. Because when I was in college, um, I didn't catch a lot of balls down the field. I caught a lot of screens, a lot of swing passes, a lot of check downs and those type. But once I got to NFL, I developed that that um, into more of a, a receiver type uh, ability, running option routes or slants and things down the field. So. Uh, I think he has the ability to do that. I also see good patience in his running style um, where he can allow his blocks to be developed and not get too anxious and try to hit the hole before it opens up. So I think that's a, a great um, a key to have with not only with vision, but with the patience to let his blocks develop. That's great stuff. man. I think about uh, backs out of the backfield, but then able to put them out in the formation, something you did a lot. You talk about guys, you know, what they do after the catch when you're just flipping them a, a flare, just get them the ball. But then there's those guys that can do stuff uh, before the catch to be able to run, you know, angle routes, option routes, get down the field vertical, something you did. I think Nadja is going to have a chance to do some of those things. You touched on um, what I want to get to next is your vision, because when I go back through and look through your report, um, that was something that led you to that 2000 yard season there at Tulane, your final year in college. And we all noted just how outstanding your vision was. Is that how do you come to that point? Is this is this a skill? Is this through study? Is this through instincts? You know, what do you attribute your fantastic vision to? I think it's a lot of a lot of instinct and a lot of like um, kind of God given talent, but also it does come from studying um, the defense and knowing what they do, and, and also uh, it's so important. I would say vision is probably one of the most important things as a running back. If you open up the NFL Bible, the first scripture is going to say where the where there's no vision, <laughs> running backs perish. And so um, <laughs> when you know when you know the, uh, the the defense and what kind of fronts they run, the blitzes and the slants and the stunts, sometimes you can get a, a key on where you're going to go before the play develops. And then that just adds to you playing faster. And we know how fast the NFL game is compared to uh, the transition out of college. So um, vision is key, but also um, not only using the God given you know talent to have that vision, uh, but also using your your mind where you can study the defense and know what they're going to do. You mentioned vision when you were briefly describing Najee earlier. When you see him with the ball in his hands as a runner, do you see some of those traits? 
Yeah, definitely. You see, he, he likes to get his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, which is good, and get that uh, early. And then when you press the hole, that's the one thing that coaches will always tell you when you come out of high school and you're in college and you're trying to learn how to transition. And then also sometimes guys don't learn it in college because the holes are wide open. But when you get to the NFL, you got to press the hole to make – so that your offensive lineman can get to the second level and get on those linebackers. The linebackers are smart. They've seen inside and outside zones their whole career. So if you press the line, sometimes you can you can make a good cutback run or you can hit the hole right up the, right up the middle. One of the things you guys share is your physicality. And uh, Matt, when you look at guys with your body types to be able to play with low pad level can't be easy. Um, but how important was it for you uh, to play with that physical edge as a runner? It's the most important uh, too, besides vision, I would say is to, you know, as a tall guy, you know, Najee is 6'2", I'm 6'2", uh, as well. So to be able to keep your pads low, for one, you know, he's a he's a lot, he's a little bit bigger than I was. He's 230, I was about 225. So, uh, you know, you can, you know, punish defenders in the, in the, in the uh, third level. And then also when, you know, the game gets going and you're in the third and fourth quarter and they think you're gonna try to run over them, that's when you run by them. So you really can set up a lot of runs um, to make uh, what looks like a 10, 15 yard gain to be 50 and 60 by doing that. And so uh, this game is physical. Um, it has become more, some people say like a passing league, but once you get the ball in your hands, you still gotta be physical to be able to break tackles. And um, especially, you know, a guy like Najee with that size, if you're able to make the first guy miss, uh, that's one of the key factors in, in uh, recruiting a running back that you think can, can make it at the next level. You know, it's funny because you talk about the physicality. I, I hear coaches always talk about as a runner, you either the hammer or you're the nail. When you look at Najee <laughs> Harris, does he have enough of that physicality to be that, that fourth quarter beast that teams love to give the ball to? Yeah, if you look at uh, you know his stats in college, I don't think he averaged under uh, five yards of carry. And also, he's got good moves. You see the spin move right there. And uh, he's a big guy. And I think he knows that, you know, the good thing about it is that he knows he's a big guy. So when you know that you can use your pass to get extra yards and, you know, run up on corners and, and uh, force the safeties and cornerbacks to tackle, uh, sometimes those guys, when it gets late in the game, they don't want to do that. So when you when you can become the hammer for your team and you got that endurance and the, uh, the ability to, to consistently be, be that, um, I think he does. And, and uh, the size and, and uh, the speed that he has will aid him in, in being that. Uh, last thing for you on Najee here, as he's getting ready to embark on his journey, coming from a 10-year vet who did it at a very high level, a any piece of advice you'd have for him? Never be satisfied. That's my main advice to a guy like him, is that you can come out, you can have a good season, you could be the, the league rushing champ one year, and the next year, if you tank it, they're going to say you all beat up. So never be satisfied with just one one great season or two great seasons. You got to be consistent over a long period of time. And so uh, if you look at it, most of the guys who've played 10, 12, 14 years or some of the guys like Frank Gore, who's still playing Adrian Peterson, they've been consistent their entire career. And so that's how you become great.